Hi, uh, you are watching Science Plus and this is Romesh Shivastu. Please do subscribe the channel for the HR news, for HR updates and uh, conversation with the top of CHROs, thought leaders and business heads. Today we are going to understand what is the current uh, latest status of uh, EPS 95 uh, pension scheme. Actually, if you see after the Supreme Court's order in uh, 2020-22, we have seen lots of uh, twists and turns into this. EPFO has extended many times the deadline for employees to apply for this scheme and uh, also the EPFO has extended the deadline for employees to submit the base details. But still, if you see, very few applications are, uh, you know, got the settlement. Very few people have started getting the higher pension. We will try to understand in detail what are the reasons why there is a delay, how many applications the EPFO has received, how many applications has been uh, uh, converted into the higher pension and uh, so many things are there. So we will discuss in detail. Joining us, Mr. Amarnath Burma is a former executive director, human resources at NTPC. Welcome, Mr. Burma. Thank you, Ramesh ji. Thank you very much for having me here today. So, Mr. Burma, very first, I would like to know if you can brief us that what has been the journey and uh, how do you see uh, the EPFO has taken the step uh, to convert these issues into the settlement for the higher pension? Uh, Mr. Shrastha, uh, we have had uh, a couple of uh, sessions earlier also on the subject. Uh, and I've tried to explain uh, the importance of the decision given by the Honorable Supreme Court on the 4th November 2022. When a large number of cases were pending in various high courts all over the country, they were uh, so moto taken over by this uh, Honorable Supreme Court. And on 4th November, a benchmark judgment was given in respect of the higher pension uh, for the employees who are not getting uh, adequate pension in the public sector companies and in the private sector companies. So that was a very landmark judgment. And on the... Uh, Fourth number that judgment was given by Honorable Supreme Court, which laid the foundation and paved the way uh, clear for uh, the EPO, EPFO to decide about the higher pension, which was, uh, uh, I mean, uh, requested by employees for many, many years. And uh, after that, a series of steps were taken by the EPFO in terms of uh, setting out various guidelines from time to time about the comprehension of the subject because the uh, requirement were from as many as 30 to 40 lakh employees all over spread all over the country and it was expected that the the problem would be, would be solved uh, on a very wide platform so the the task was very uh, severe and uh, the challenge was also severe so uh, epfo from uh, their side have been giving a uh, set of guidelines from time to time and they have also been giving a lot of uh, frequently asked questions so that the problems and understanding of the situation uh, after, in the aftermath of the Supreme Court ruling was made clear both to the employers and to the employees and also clarification amongst the EPFO authorities and officials so that it has taken a little over two years time but uh, the road has been cleared for settlement of the enhanced uh, pension cases under the EPS 95 scheme now. Uh, the only problem is that the, the, the pace has been very slow. Uh, as against the original estimate of about 30 to 40 lakh applications, the final applications that were received in the office of EPFO was 17.5 uh, lakhs cases approximately. And out of that, as of now, only uh, a little more than 16,000 cases have been settled. So, we can see that the the number of cases which have been settled and higher pensions have been finalized by the APFO has been only a very small portion and a large number of cases are still to be solved. So that is the current status. And uh, <clears throat> very recently, there was a Central Board of Trustees meeting on the 30th November, uh, uh, two days ago, wherein the Honorable Minister... Uh, there was a uh, news release published by the EPFO that the Honorable uh, Minister has given clear-cut instructions to expedite the entire process and settle the cases of the applications pending with the EPFO at a fa very fast pace. 
Yeah, absolutely, Mr. Verma. As you told me that uh, the APFO has received around 17.49 lakh applications, uh, those who want to opt the higher pension. And uh, uh, around 2.6 lakh applications were rejected by the APFO. And till now, only what the data is available that 16,282 uh, applicants have been uh, rewarded to the higher pension and these cases uh, are secured. So this is just, you know, uh, less than 1% cases are uh, secured. According to you, what do you see, uh, what are the reasons why uh, so much delay from the uh, APFO side? Uh, what are the reasons uh, of delay? Why the process is so slow? So, uh, as I have told in my big, uh, opening remarks, the 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 because of the coverage of a large number of employees from various employers and the data which was required to be seen, initially the problem was that the there was a form to be submitted, joint application form along and along with that a certificate required under the uh, section twenty six six, which was a mandatory requirement, which was later on done away with. So. Uh, the, uh, the requirement of giving a joint declaration and signing by the thought, uh, the employers and the employee for an enhanced pension uh, took a, a, a quite a bit of time. And then right from the date of inception of the EPS 95 scheme, which was 16-11-1995, uh, uh, and up to the date of settlement, there are a large number of years where the enhanced contribution was to be ensured by both the employers and as well as the EPFO. So that takes a lot, of, a great deal of time. That's why they have created a platform, a digital platform, uh, a creation of the, that digital platform took a little bit of time and submission of data by uh, respective employers also took uh, a great deal of time. But now, uh, as I understand, things have taken uh, shape and many employers have been able to submit the requisite details uh, as sought by the uh, EP of authorities, and as things are now getting streamlined, uh, 16,000 cases have been settled, and now as per the direction of the Honorable Minister, I'm sure the EP of authorities will leave no stone unturned to ensure that the balanced cases are also settled expeditiously. So this is around 1% application, not uh, not 10, you, you rightly said. Yes, yes. So it is around 10%, yes, yeah. even less than the 10% what the... Uh, these, the settlement has been done. So yes. uh, these are the reasons, yeah, of course, uh, there is a delay and, uh, and the government is also trying, as we have seen uh, in last uh, 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 the uh, directions. So uh, uh, what would be your advice to the APFO so that uh, they can expedite the process as well? Shastaji, if you see the, the large number of cases which are required to settle and that to each case has a large number of uh, data points and verification points. So creation of data, their verification and uploading in the system and their verification about from the respective uh, EPF authorities takes a little bit of time. So it has to be done on a digital platform. So the digital platform that has been created has to be very robust in nature. So that is one aspect. The other aspect is the capability building of the EPFO officials who are handling the situation they have to be trained, they have to be given enough inputs and so that they are able to handle the situation in, in, in the most effective manner and expeditiously also. And thirdly, the understanding of the subject so that on flimsy grounds, on, on very uh, petty grounds, the cases should not back to the employers should be accepted by the EPFO so that uh, there is no unnecessary delay on the part of settlement by the EPFO authorities. So creation of a robust platform, uh, competence building of the team members and dedicated teamwork, team force, workforce uh, at the EPFO, the respective EPFO office. These are the three requirements which are very, very important. And I'm, I'm sure uh, the EPFO authorities are already taking steps in all these three areas. So my understanding is that in the next three to four months, a large number of cases will be settled. And what would be your advice to applicants, those who have applied and they're not aware of that, what is the status of their application right now? Neither it is uh, 
rejected yes. not they, they are getting the settlement no no, no. They, i have been uh, getting a lot of uh, feedback from various cross section of employees from various public sector and private sector where people are uh, not very clear about what is their status so status can be seen uh, on the website of epfo by submitting their uh, uan number and ppo number so uh, after submitting these uh, details the status will be shown but in majority of cases what happens is that even after the employer has submitted the complete details in respect of their employees on some pretext or some clarification the cases are referred back to the respective employer so the the cases that are shown on the website is pending at the employer's end so that creates a lot of confusion so the employee concerned has to follow up both uh, at the website of epfo and also with their uh, own employer so that should be uh, settled all the pending issues should be settled and epfo should now be able to settle the cases uh, expeditiously that is my understanding so i think we have discussed that what is the current status how many applications uh, have been settled and uh, mm -hmm. uh, how many applications are rejected as per the latest data by the epfo uh, how many applications the epfo has received and uh, uh, what are the reasons why there is a delay in uh, uh, processing these applications anything else which is important and we did not touch would like to share uh, mr shrivastava uh, as far as i understand this is a very good opportunity for the government also to settle this uh, opportunity to seize this opportunity as a very good opportunity for creating this as a social security scheme for uh, people who are uh, working in the public sector companies or in the private sector companies as a welfare measure it will be a very good opportunity for government to institutionalize the system and make it robust so because as things get delayed so people become uh, very very restless and because after retirement nobody knows how much more time is left with them so they are also very uncertain and uh, so it's, it's 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 in the interest of everybody because two years have already elapsed uh, the 4th november 22 was the date of supreme court judgment and now it is uh, 2nd of december so two years and one month has already elapsed so it is uh, now very much required that all the cases are settled so my my submission or my uh, request to the epo authorities would be to settle all these cases at the earliest so that there is no apprehensions or misgivings in the minds of people who have already retired or who are on the verge of retirement and they have a peace of mind so that they can uh, take the enhanced pension and settle their life peacefully yeah absolutely you said that uh, those applicants those who are uh, willing to know what is the status of their application they can visit to the ipf website with the un number they can get the status and maybe sometimes they are also getting the status uh, that to document are pending uh, from the employer end so in that case they can, can they reach to the employer as well and uh, they yes, can yes. Uh, try to expedite the process yes. in case if it is not uh, already uh, shared with the epfo or if it has been shared then uh, how they can expedite the process to the regional office of epfo so is there any possibility for this as well yes yes the, the concerned employee also need to get in touch with their employers for any any small uh, uh, requirement that may be there in the system so with the help of employer they can uh, submit those documents which can be uploaded by the employer and or maybe sent physically by the employer to the epfo authorities for settlement of the revised pension thank you so much uh, uh, mr verma for joining the conversation and sharing your wonderful thoughts we have also created a detailed video that how you can check the status and step by step there are uh, guidelines uh, that we will put also the link in the description box so you can check uh, your status of the application thank you so much mr verma again for joining the conversation thank you so much thank you mr shivastha thank you for everyone